Patty Sheehan is a perfect example of that. She's Orlando's first openly gay commissioner, and she joins us now. Good morning to you, Patty. Good morning, Gail. We're Charlie. so sorry to see you under these circumstances. I, I am too. I mean, this is just a horrible day for our city, and you know, for these families who are still suffering. Um, we have identified everyone, but not all the notifications have been made yet. Some of the folks are out of state. We're trying to get those notifications out because, you know, some of these poor families... are still waiting. Well, and this is the largest crime scene that we've had to process in Orlando. So, you know, it just, it's taking us some time. The FBI is a lead investigation, and, you know, we have to follow the proper protocol. But it's the largest mass shooting in U.S. history, as we know. And you were telling us that you know Pulse. You know this community. I know Pulse. What can you tell us about this club? This is a great club. I mean, this is a really nice club. You know, a lot of gay clubs could be kind of seedy and things like that. But, really, but you know, Barbara, the owner of this the club, owner. wanted to make this really nice because it was in honor of her brother who passed of AIDS. She's a wonderful person in this community, and the fact that this happened in her club, she's just devastated. And you've been there. You've been I have been the there many times. I mean, we've had political fundraisers there. We've had, you know, community actions there. They're very supportive of the LGBT community, wonderful people. So, you know, it's just heartbreaking that someone would pick this club in the heart of our community to do this. And this is our main street district. We're just blocks from City Hall. Do you worry that it's now turning into a political issue? Does well, that bother you? something that bothers me is I've heard a lot of politicians talking that did not support hate crimes legislation, that did not have not supported my community. And if, if they want to have a change of heart, I encourage that. Because if this isn't an example of how my community is victimized and hated and harmed, nothing will change their heart if this doesn't. Because you knew people and because you're city commissioner, can you tell us anybody who saw the gunman and what they told you? Yeah, I can't substantiate it because I had a, a young man that talked to me last night, but he said that um, that at first he thought it was music, yeah. and that you know, and then people just started scattering, and that several of the people had gone to the bathroom and a dressing room. And that's where they were kind of trying to get away from the gunman. Yeah, we heard people stories of people huddled in a room that were freed only after somebody ripped the air conditioner out. Yes, and, and they went, yes. they went climbing out. To, and, but to but then they would say there were moments of silence when he stopped shooting, where he was reloading the clip, yes. putting in another clip. And the other thing, people were playing dead so they wouldn't be shot. And when the police came in, they said that the police asked anybody who's allowed to put their hands up, which is horrifying, if you can only imagine. You know what Luis Lopez told us? that he, He's the first one I heard Charlie say this, that he actually saw the gunman in the club, that he seemed to be enjoying himself because it is a very welcoming community. See, I had heard that he was in there previously, too. Yes. So uh, That he may have been at this club another day or, or this, on this particular evening. He for a while. I, I have heard, though, that he, is just, he, that he hates the gay community and things like that. And, it's just and you a, hear that and you think, what? I, I'm so struck why? by that. Why? Yeah. We're just good people. These are young people out trying to have a good time. When I was their age, I was out at this club and others in the city. I just don't understand how anyone could do this to my community. And I'm heartbroken because I didn't know a lot of them personally because they're younger than me, but they're members of my community. And, and I feel just heartbroken over this. At a moment like this, everybody is, is supporting of law enforcement and their investigation yes. uh, and thinking about the victims. But could they have done this earlier? Were there reasons they didn't go in until yes, they did? because it was a hostage situation. That's was, the reason they waited. Yes, there was and, already a lot of people who had been shot. The gunman was going out, then went back in. And, and then communicating he was not, by not yes, to 9 -11. and then he was not shooting people. So they were trying to negotiate him to release people. Then they decided to do what they did in terms of breaking the wall. Have you heard how it turned into a hostage situation? Because he walked in and started shooting. He walked and then in and started what did shooting. Do? Then he went out. Mm -hmm. And then he came back in. Out of the and, building? Yeah. He started wow. to go back out, and he went back in the building. And said, everybody, you stay here with me? Is yes. that, is that I don't happened? know exactly what he said. Have you yes. heard the 9-11 tape? No, I have not. But, and, but do you know what's on it? I have not heard any of it. What no. can the people do to help you now at this point, Patty? Right now, we're asking. I'm, 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 I'm so happy that you told me about the vigils happening around the world. That's lovely. But yes. here in Orlando, we do not need the law enforcement resources spread any thinner. We need people to hear to just go to their churches, go to their places of worship, do what they ever need to take care of themselves. You're saying but hold off on hold vigils. Hold off on vigils now. in Orlando. Yes. Because right now, if you look down the street, there's yeah, still hundreds of officers I on see. the scene. Yes. Eventually, we're going to have to open the street back up. So again, this is not the time for vigils. But give blood. Give, um, you know, give money to proper organizations that you know are good organizations. Do what you need to do. But we'll hold off on the vigils. We'll have something later on. 
And I think we need to make it about the victims once we have everyone identified. This should be an homage to the victims, yeah. these young people that were cut down by a madman, by a terrorist in the, in the you know, in the worst of ways. The, Thank you, Patty. the best times of their life. Yes. We have heard so many people say, how does it happen here? Thank you, Patty. Thank you very much. Again, we're sorry for these circumstances.